The Queen's death is not only being felt around the world, but also right here in Northeast Wisconsin. NBC 26's Ben Boken spoke with a UW Oshkosh British historian about the Queen's impact overseas and here at home. In a sense, a kind of global celebrity figure um, in everybody's lives, right? While Michael Rutz was and teaching so a class at UW Oshkosh, two students told him Queen Elizabeth II had just died. Obviously, I saw when I woke up this morning, kind of the news that her health was being monitored and the family was coming and it was kind of like, oh, wow, that was really sudden. Um, you know, I don't know that I necessarily expected just, you know, a couple of hours later as I finished up class that then like, oh, it's official. The British historian says it was a significant moment for him and Northeast Wisconsin alike. Part of it is just the longevity, right? She was queen for 70 years, so that's the longest reign of any monarch in British history. Queen Elizabeth II's presence goes far beyond the United Kingdom. Her legacy includes a moment in Wisconsin history when the British monarch sailed through Lake Michigan past Milwaukee really in 1959. One of the most significant historic events in the entire history of the city of Milwaukee and its port. The Queen with Britain and, you know, symbolically they're kind of um, together for the lives of you know, most all of us who, who are here and alive now. Fast forward many years to today. The chair of the UW Oshkosh History Department believes the queen enabled a connection to the past. She was a kind of symbol, I think, for Britons of that sort of stability and history and strength um, during a time period in which they saw their kind of global power and status in decline. After a 70 year reign, those like Rutz applaud some of the Queen's work and her legacy. Her commitment to public service, uh, which I think was really commendable, um, that you have a little bit of sadness over that and, and the passing of her as an important figure. In Green Bay, Ben Boken, NBC 26.